Hello guys, today in this video, I like to show you how you can do a real-time validation using LiveWire in Laravel. So let's begin. At first, I'll open my VS Code and I'll open my folder where I'll create my project. So for that, I'll go inside the desktop and here in desktop, I'll use demo project folder. Okay. Now inside the demo project folder, I'll write here composer create project laravel laravel and the name of the project i'll write demo one two three okay okay now i have to wait for a few minutes until it will download all the files the required files okay now my project has been successfully created here and here inside the composer.json file uh, uh, here there is no liveware so to install the liveware package inside the laravel project i'll go to uh, web browser and i'll go to laravel-liveware.com the main site for liveware and inside this website i'll go to docs and here in docs i'll select the liveware version for now i'll select the version 3.x okay now i'll click on the start here and i'll go to their installation section here it has shown me the um, way to install the live wire package inside my laravel project so i'll copy this and i'll paste here inside here for before that i have to go to inside my project folder so i'll write here cd demo one two three okay let me make this little big okay now i'll paste this code here now i'll just write enter okay now okay my live wire has successfully installed here i can see the version 3.0 beta beta has been installed on my laravel project so now let me start the server local server so for that i'll write here psp artisan serve psp artisan serve is the command uh, is the laravel framework command which helps to run the local development server okay now when i'll enter it uh, give me the url with the port 8000 now here it shows the laravel um, project has been successfully configured now now what i need to do to create the real-time validation uh, using the library so for that i'll go inside here i'll go to validation today i'll show you through this documentation site how you can do the validation in liveware so for now i'll go inside my project cd demo one two three and i'll create here we can see i think okay component here is the way to make the components in liveware so in the same way we'll make the component for like one form okay now let's go here and we'll write psp artisan make liveware and we have to give the name of the component for now we'll write uh, form component we'll write name of the component form component now it has generated the two files that the one is class and the one is view and the class file has been generated inside the app folder here we can see the liveware and inside the liveware folder here we have the form component class file now another uh, file the view file has been generated inside the resources and inside the resources there is one view folder and inside the view folder one live wire folder has been created and inside there we can see that the form component dot blade dot psp view file now uh, to add this view component a live wire component file in our laravel file we'll just uh, let me delete this all and i'll rename this file name to uh, let me rename it to index.blade.file and we'll change it on our routes too we'll write here index file name okay now let me go here uh, okay we don't see anything inside there and let me just uh, write here let me say my validation form okay 
my validation form and inside this uh, blade dot inside this index dot blade dot psp we will import the library style and script so for that uh, the style will be imported uh, before closing the head tag so here i'll write at uh, live wire styles okay for now let me so that when i right click and view page source i don't see anything here i don't see the live wire css file and the live wire js file so now when i just when i write here add library style and before closing the body and i write add live wire uh let's say live wire scripts now let me reload this and let me reload this here it has imported the live wire css and the live wire js file here successfully in uh now let's say uh whatever we create inside the live wire that will create inside the form component dot blade dot psp here inside here and uh, let me import uh, bootstrap to create one form so we'll go to get bootstrap dot ph uh, dot com and inside the docs we'll go to download section and here we'll copy this to css and js file and we'll import here okay now let me create here one class here let's say that it's a container and we'll create one form here uh, here is one form and inside this form we'll write here where submit equals to save okay now inside this form submit we'll just okay we don't have anything for now we'll create one input say input we'll create one input we'll give the input type as a text and we'll validate today as email we'll validate today as email okay uh, for that we'll write here we'll use wire model uh, wire model dot live equals to uh, email okay now let's go to our validation and inside the validation we'll go to uh, directly we'll go to real time validation section let me see here it is real time validation section uh, to create the real time validation we can use uh, wire model or wire model blur to redirect liver to trigger the network request okay for today we'll use wire model dot live because it is more efficient what m o okay m o d e l model okay model where model live now when i reload this okay i have not uh, imported this form component dot blade file inside my index file so i have not seen anything so to import this here we'll write here live wire and the name of the view file live and view file the view file is form component we have the form component now let me reload this here i can see now my input field inside my index.blade.file file because i have imported it by using the live wire okay now i'll give here one label here label and the label is email and i'll give here the bootstrap class that is form label and here also i'll give one bootstrap class that is form control now let me reload it here i have email text field so i'll create one bottom to here uh, bottom bottom and i'll just write here save and the type will be submit and we have the we'll use the bootstrap class that is B, btn btn primary okay now let me reload it here it is 
now let's say like here I have the Mars in top 3 okay now here we have one input email input field uh, input field and here we have one save button okay okay now we'll create one uh, function inside the library component form component here we'll create one function we'll create here one public function save public function save and inside the public function save here we'll create one variable public dollar name empty variable okay uh, this variable name should be same as it has mentioned here okay for now i have here the wire model dot live email so i'll create here one variable name email okay to um, okay now when i click on here save bottom now i have to show, show here some like validation rule message so for that what we need to do for that we'll write here dollar validate equals to dollar this validate okay now here we'll write email required okay now now i have to show here the error message so for that what i'll need to do here i'll write here at error and here i'll write at int error okay now the error message will be of email so here i'll write the spin close and this inside this pane i'll write here dollar masses and here in this pane i'll write here the bootstrap class that is takes danger okay now let me reload when i click on the save it shows that the email field is required okay i'll give here one breakpoint now okay when i click on the save button it says that the email field is required now this is not the real time validation because uh, the error message is showing only when we have clicked when we clicked on the save bottom so this is not the real time so what we need to do to create this the real time validation to make this as a real time validation so for that we'll use the rule attribute here uh, let me scroll up let me scroll up and okay here in this we have to use the rule attribute for that we'll import the rule and we'll use here in a form component above the form component here we'll use use library attribute rule now let me say i have one rule here okay i'll create here one rule okay for now here i have one rule uh rule okay in the rule i have one rule is required and the message i want to show is please enter your email that i want to show okay now let me reload it now let's say i don't have, I have nothing and okay now when i left it just said me please enter your email now what i want another thing i want i want more one thing i want that is let me say i'll make one another uh, email please okay let me okay rule must be not repeated okay just repeated it now i'll say here email now let me reload okay now it's a please enter your email it says now when i just write here at gmail.com then it doesn't show me the error now when i leave it blank now it again says me or uh, again show me the please enter your email uh, okay in this way we can make the rule real-time validation in live like here i have entered it says please enter your email okay okay for today this much only i hope you understood how we can do uh, make the real time validation in laravel using the live wire package inside our laravel so i hope you understood it thank you for today